Well, hello, YouTubers. Nathan in the house here. Well, actually in the garage tonight. Uh, got a little bit of a problem with the uh, 2003 Ford Explorer, the Eddie Bauer edition. You know, the uh, guy that did all that cool stuff back in the 20s and 30s. And uh, got a lot of stuff named after him. And they also named a Ford Explorer after him. Uh, yeah, I got the fender off. I'm doing a little bit of work there. But... Um, I brought it in. It's been outside for a while, and uh, when I started up, I'll just get right to it here for you guys. Uh, when I started up, the uh, four-wheel drive flashes on it, and it takes a while for it to go off, and it's kind of annoying. Just like that ding, ding, ding. Let me get the key out. All right, we'll shut the door here. Um, this is what I'm going to try to look at tonight. I haven't been under this thing. I've had it for a couple of months now, and I'm just getting around to uh, getting it fixed, and uh, we'll go ahead and start it up here. And watch right over there when we start it up. You'll see that four-wheel drive right there flashing. It just flashes, continuously just flashes. Now, I don't have any control over it. I've, uh, I can go over here and uh, take the switch on and off as I do this with one hand and there is the uh, 4x4 switch right there and no matter what I do uh, I just have no control and when I hit hit these guys uh, it won't go in the four-wheel drive so I'm thinking probably I've got an issue with the motor on the back of the transfer case that turns uh, that on and off so this is what we're going to do we're going to crawl under here and see if we can uh, fix it because it's uh, kind of annoying and um, let me start it up here again and watch it now it'll flash about five or six times and it'll go off but when you start it up it shouldn't flash at all and like I said I have no control here and I was out in it today and it's stuck in two wheel drive meaning the transfer case isn't kicking in start it back up Watch it there, it just flashes away, see? It's telling me there's something wrong, so uh, see if it goes out eventually. I think five or six flashes, it'll go out. And let's see, that's seven. See, it just continues. Sometimes it'll just flash. Okay, there it went out. So we'll see if we can fix this. We'll uh, go ahead and crawl up under here. And look at this and uh, see if we can uh, get this uh, maybe fixed. All right, well, for one of the things I'm going to do right off the bat is go ahead and unhook my battery since I'm going to be uh, messing off wires down there. And uh, no loss here. I'm not worried about the memory on the radio or the computer or anything because I've been working on it. And now we'll go ahead and crawl up under this thing. And I've got it up pretty high in the garage, so uh, it always helps to have it up in the air. And bear with me a second. Let me crawl up under here and establish a light. And now we'll go ahead and look at it. And here is the back of the transfer case. <clears throat> and let me get the light set up here a little bit for you. And if you look closely, we get this big thing of wires right here. Um, we got to take this heat shield off, this protector. Uh, then we will have access to that motor. If I shine the uh, light like this, I really hate working at night in the garage because it's hard to get your lights set up. And my garage is so small. Okay, there's the motor. And uh, what we're going to do, uh, we'll go ahead and pull this heat shield off. Pretty easy to do. you got a couple little bolts. So we've got one right there we got to take off. And see, there's one right there. And we'll go ahead and pull this off and we'll go ahead and check these wires out. And I may go ahead and just pull this motor off here and test it, make sure it's not uh, locked up, make sure it's actually working, and see if we can maybe get this thing working. So let's go ahead and uh, I guess we'll do that. All right, so I got the uh, three bolts out, one down here, and there's one on the back, on the back side of the shield where my finger is. We got one up here. These are 10 millimeter bolts. So we'll take this off. Off she comes, and there's our motor, and there is the heat shield. Back the camera up a little bit, and uh, 
This protects the heat from the uh, catalytic converter, which is right here. And there's our motor. And let's go ahead and look at these wires and see what we got. And, uh... Everything looks... Oh, well, there we go. We found a wire right here broken off. That could be our problem right there. Let's just go ahead and unhook this wiring harness. Let's see. This wire has a ground and uh boy i don't know where it goes either so i'm gonna have to do some research i'm probably have to pull this motor off i'll probably gonna just pull this motor i'll go ahead and pull the motor off that's what i'm trying to say and look around here and see if i can find where this ground wire goes um it's got a really hard edge there so that's a, definitely a it's a ground wire so I'll start looking on some of these bolts and stuff. So I'll go ahead and pull this motor off. Go ahead and get this uh, plug out of here. Obviously, it's a little hard to do with my camera on one hand. And uh, pulling wires with the other. So go ahead and pull this motor out of here. So that may be the problem right there. It's just that wire. That would be great. All right. So um, I got all the bolts out of the... Uh, motor here and I was getting ready to take the very last one out which is right there where my finger is and I decided you know what on why don't I just go ahead and take this wire that we had here that was broke off the ground wire and go ahead and just temporarily ground it to a bolt and and hook all this back up and see if it takes care of the uh, four wheel drive situation so that's what I've done I've taken a bolt and let's see let me find it here Right there my finger is. I got that wire right there, and all I gotta do is tighten this up a little bit more and hook up everything, and we're gonna see if this actually works. And if it does, that actually may save us some trouble here. So let me tighten this up. All right, so we'll go ahead and tighten this up here a little bit more. And uh, then if this works, um, this may be your problem also if you have the flashing four-wheel drive light um, that sometimes uh, comes on. Let me get my light back here. Here we go. Thank you. And uh, I know winter's coming up, and a lot of you want your four-wheel drives to work. So, All right, that's pretty snug. So there's our ground wire. We'll hook this back up here, and uh, we'll go in the vehicle, and we'll start it up and uh, see how this works out. And there's that big plug. Now, I'll show you something else that was really stupid. Uh, stupid design, and I'll show you how to work around it. When you go to pull this motor off, this uh, motor for the uh, transfer case, uh, this actually works uh, four high, four by four, and your automatic all-wheel drive system and usually when you don't have it on it's in all-wheel drive sort of there's a wire that goes in the transfer case and there's a big magnet in there that acts as a uh, well when the power gets sent to this wire there's two plates in there that come together and it works like a magnet and it works this uh, all-wheel drive system so uh, there's constant power going to this uh, now and then if your back wheels are spinning a little bit then this power gets sent into this transfer case and starts to turn the front wheels, in a nutshell. But uh, what I was going to do is go pull this motor off, and this wire, you cannot disconnect it from this plug. It's hot all the way into this transfer case. So if you ever have to replace this motor, you have to cut this wire and get you a couple of uh, little uh, clips or connectors and fix this. And so you can disconnect it and plug it back together. I don't know why, but I noticed that. So this is one reason I decided not to pull this motor off. I didn't want to cut this wire just yet. And uh, that was something that uh, was kind of interesting to see. Usually you could have a clip here to pull apart and plug it back in. All right, so we got this plugged back in. Uh, let me roll out of here. Go back upstairs here. Go back up here, I should say. And we'll grab my light. Well, I don't think I need my light, but you know what? I probably will. It's a little dark. All right, so we're back up in here. And uh, let's see uh, if we start this up, if this will help the condition. Well, I hope it does. 
because the motor seemed to be, you know, I don't know, okay. I mean, it didn't see anything bad down there, leaking or anything like that. So we'll go ahead and start this up here, figure out where I'll put my light. All right, and grab my keys. Start this up. And the four full wheel drive uh, flashing light would be right about there. So we'll, here we go. Whoa! How about that? I can't believe it took it off. That ground wire apparently just broke off and had all that corrosion on it. And apparently, it's a very common issue with these uh, explorers, and uh, I think even the expeditions. Now let's see if. We put it in four high, low, if four high. Let's see if it comes on. So we hit the button. Hey, check it out! All right, let's turn the let's turn the four high back off. Over here, back to auto, and it went off. I'll be daggone! So that was our issue the whole time. It looks like that wire was just uh, causing me some issues. I apologize for the light. Uh, trying to get it set up here for you guys. So I'll tell you what, we're going to go over here and uh, I'm going to put my hand over here and we'll just kind of constantly kind of hit this uh, back and forth here a little bit and see what we get and I'll tell you as I'm talking. Alright, so there is four high, obviously nothing. Here's four by four and we got four by four high and now we'll go to four by four low. And I'll have to put it neutral to get the four by four low to work. And there we go. I'll be daggone, and it's lit up over here, 4x4 four four low. And you can see it's working. And we'll go back to 4 high. And that'll go off in a flash. And there we go. We're back in 4 high. And we'll hit 4x4 four four auto. We should turn the light off. And boom. How about that? The light's off. I'm excited. Yes, it worked. I can't believe it. So let's run through this one more time. I'll just hold the camera right here while you watch it and I'll tell you what I'm doing. There's four high I'm hitting and there's four low. And of course to do that I have to put it back down in neutral. There we go. And four low, okay. So we'll take it back out four low, put it in four high. And I heard it thump underneath so it's working. And back to normal and we're good all right so that took care of the issue so I hope this helps you out if you have any problems uh, like I have here first thing you do go under there and check for wires uh, make sure they're not loose because like I said they do come loose uh, now and then and I apologize for the light folks this has been a weird night with lights I cannot get a light set up right for you guys but I think you can see what was going on Hit this one more time. All right, so there's four high, normal, there's four high. And back to four low. And it's blinking, and I hear it clicking, and boom. Four by four low. Back to four high. It's blinking. I heard a thump underneath. And back to normal, and we're in good shape. All right, so let's go back into the car real quick. All right, so we're back up under here, and... Uh, what I'll do is just go ahead and crimp this wire and get a, uh, a little uh, guy here. Let me show you what I'm going to use. And what I'll use is something like this. Uh, just uh, kind of ground it. And this is probably what I would do if I were you. That way you will never have to worry about it again. All right. Well, so there you go. Um, I'll go ahead and just kind of put everything back together and put the heat shield on and Fix my wire, and I'll probably ground it right there where that one is already. Right about, right about there. And that should take care of the issue. All right, well, so there we go. Uh, it's all done. I'm happy. And uh, if you have any problems with your 4x4 switch, that's where you can look at it. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, if I have any uh, more updates, I'll let you know about that. But at least that's one thing off my bucket list. And... Uh, now I can start working on some other things. So thanks for watching, and uh, there you go. Have a good one, and I'll see you later on my next video.